Welcome everyone to another day. It is literally snowing outside. First snow of the year. Can't believe it. It is officially winter. So we gotta get this firewood stove cracking. Diesel heater's on, warming up the place for now. Well, we actually gotta go outside, cut some kindling. I should have done that yesterday. And uh, then here not too shortly, we're gonna have to crack that uh, generator on because uh, we're definitely not getting no sunlight right now and the solar panels are completely covered in snow. So I guess we're gonna have a little snow day. Not too sure if we're gonna be outside, but, oh shit, damn it's not. The camera is heavier than the stand. But yeah, official snow day today. And uh, right now, tiny house is 60 degrees, 37% humidity, so. This is Phoenix in the morning. He cohabitates wherever the heater is during the winter. So not too long, he's gonna be sitting right here pretty much all day, so I'm gonna have to make him a little bed. Or, for some reason, during the winter, he likes to perch right here, maybe do whatever is outside. Alrighty, well, we also got a lot of things coming in today from packages and everything, so when they get here, I'll show you guys what I got, but we definitely are getting that new cell phone. I'm not too sure. We're gonna slap it over, transfer it over today or not. But uh, today's main goal really is to make clips for all my other channels and then read some emails, uh, some more people into logos, funnel down the system. Pretty much I have a whole funnel system to do when I do my logos. And let's see, uh, that's all for what's on the agenda today. Oh, we might have to go to the store, which would be fun. A Jeep has never seen snow, at least, at least in my life. And it's made for snow. It's made for rock climbing and all that stuff. So if it's too slick out, we'll put that bitch in four auto. And if it's real slick out, I'm gonna put that bitch in four low. I haven't put my winch on yet. I do have a winch on that, that Jeep Cherokee. So that'd be a little side gig for me <laughs> if I see anybody on the ditch. Hey! 50 bucks, cash, I'll pull you out. Hook the winch up and pull them out. I've never been able to do that, I've always had cars. Last car I had was that Tesla that you guys know, and then before that I had a Chevy Cruze. And then I think I, before that I had some type of, I don't know, we called it the Red Dragon. It was all velvet red uh, seats and everything, but man, remember the days. I only had a few cars in my life. But Tesla was the coolest, just something different experience. And I loved it, still love it till today, but that's long gone. And now the Jeep is my favorite. Jeep is my favorite so much that I got a uh, an RC car, an actual functioning e car that is exactly, looks like my Jeep. And we're gonna deck that out as well, just for fun. We're gonna put a winch on it. We're gonna put a roof rack on it. So yeah. So yeah, let's get started for today and see what we're getting into. All right. Well. We already made our bed. We're already on top of it for this morning. Uh, I know I wanted to fix that PS5 stuff yesterday. It's actually kind of good to vlog every day because I'll, I'll rewatch it at the end of the day and be like, oh shit, I said I was gonna do that. Why didn't I do that? So maybe this could be a good thing. It's gonna help me get uh, shit done even more, which, oh my God. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. Maybe this year will be the most productive year of my life. I couldn't, I don't know. It might be really exhausted, not too sure. Let's put these contacts in. That's what we gotta do. Oh yeah, and we gotta call my eye, uh, eye doctor. Get another set coming in because these are just trial contacts. Good thing I live in this day and age because right now, if I lived back in the Stonehenge days and my eyes were the same, I'd be pretty screwed, would you? For all you that have glasses and shit, or contacts, I guess we'd be pretty screwed, but now I can see it clear as day. Dude, let me tell you how blind I am. Without those things, I could not see you whatsoever. I couldn't, I know what the hell I'm holding and stuff, but I really would not know. It'd be just a blur. Let's brush the teeth off. Brush them two times a day. All right, so deodorant on. What else are we gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything else in this room, I don't think. 
Nose look good. Shirt looks good. I think we're good. All right. Let's get some breakfast in. Oh, well, we already had it. What we need is, uh, not that one. Where'd that? No, I don't have it. Eh, fuck it. We'll just get one of these. Let's get the vitamins in. First things first, before I put anything in my body, I got to put the greens and the vitamins in. This combo doesn't taste too good, but you gotta have it. Greens, vitamins. After that, we're gonna have to start the Jenny Gin because we're gonna be on the we're gonna be on the, we're gonna be on the computer a lot today, and uh, it's just gonna be snowing all day today. So we're gonna start the generator, get a little bit of food in our belly, Phoenix fed, clean up the house a little bit, and then go cut some wood. Did this taste like real quick? God damn, potent it. I might have to put some more water in that motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see if I have some upstairs. All right, we're good. Dilute it a little bit, cause that's some potent as shit right there. All right, now we should be good. It still tastes the same, but a lot more, uh, less potent. All right, let's see if we can get this generator started. Holy shit. All right, first try. Okay, where is the, there it is. All right, what the fuck's happening? Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait five minutes. What the fuck? We're gonna have fucking issues with that. We might just, uh, as long as we can get it started today, we can prolong what I'm about to say. We need uh, exhaust. The only reason I even give a shit about that exhaust is if it was a regular generator, it wouldn't really matter because it doesn't, uh, the regular generators don't detect like two. This one detects CO2 and then it shuts off for five minutes. Won't let me start it until five minutes. So it's a safety feature. And it's for stupid fucks that put this shit inside their house. Who the fuck would put a gas generator inside their house or a shop? Never put a gas generator inside your house or your shop or whatever. Put the bitch outside and put it in a closed location like I do if you have fucked up weather. Fan wasn't kicking on, so exhaust port wasn't kicking on. So I don't know what the fuck was happening. We're gonna have to figure that out. Another day, off grid living. And let me tell you, this is what happens when you live off grid. 99% uh, of the people, content creators on this app, they just won't show you this shit. They don't want you to think that they're fucked up, they're failing, or whatever. But this is what happens. Uh, not everything's perfect. This is why a lot of people don't live this lifestyle, is because there's just a lot of work. There's a lot of what the fuck moment. Why isn't this working? Because you are essentially your own everything now. I'm my own power supply, I'm my own heating supply, water supply, everything. I don't think you guys realize how much work goes into all that but there's a reason why you pay for it there's a reason why you pay for it uh if you live in an apartment or it's bundled in with your rent and you have no idea but uh, it's the jobs that nobody wants to do or have a lot of experience with that's why you pay money for so i'm an electrician i'm a plumber fucking hvac heater whatever i got every fucking thing Jack of all trades, but master of none. I just figure it out as it comes. And uh, we get what we get, I guess. Hopefully we can start that generator. If not, there's another backup. Gotta have backup on backup. That generator doesn't start for whatever the fuck reason. We have to start the other generator and actually shut down this house. So for some reason, the two Delta Pros won't turn on and stay, leave the house on because it's not EcoFlow, it's not on a smart plug. Because that generator is on a smart plug, it allows me to keep the house on while charging. So, sucks because I'd have to have the house off for almost an hour and a half, really. And every time I wanted to charge it, I'd have to shut down the house. Hopefully I don't have to show you guys that. Trust me, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I want to have this house on all day today and I want to get, I want to get stuff done. All right, we got the generator rocking. First year with the snow and everything, the fan was stuck. It was fucking frozen over. So that's why the fan wasn't opening up. So that's one thing we gotta make sure about. I knew I had to do it, but I didn't know why the fuck that fan wasn't opening. It was just stuck on some snow. So we are so far so good. Please let it be a good day. Awesome. So now we are pulling in 1500. Oh, we should not be pulling in 1500. We should only be pulling in. Cause what happens is once it hits that, cause it's at 1750 right now, we're at 1750 watts. We can control the watt output. We don't want that. 
we'll put it at 1200 today. I can control it, it can go up to 1750. And for some reason, the Delta Pro, or that generator adds an extra 50 watts, so it's like 1800, and sometimes it just shuts, it shuts down because it's too much out, output. So we're just gonna keep it at that, uh, and that should be good for today. I'm amazed of how that generator box is working perfectly. Right now, 100% guaranteed because I've already done did it. I had that, I had another one just like it. Same thing. I didn't have a generator box. I just stuck it outside, pulled that fucking crank, and it worked for maybe an hour and shut off. And it was even warmer temperatures than what it is right now. So I know that I did something right because that generator's turned on and for some reason it only allowed me to turn the generator on excuse me it only allowed me to turn the generator on and then not allow me to plug the smart plug in so it wouldn't want to produce watts as soon as it was like oh you're gonna want me to charge a thousand watts so i'm fucking shutting down and then i'd have to start it again two three in the morning shut the fuck down so i ended up calling ecoflow they swapped it out and before and it perfect fucking time i'll tell you perfect timing by ecoflow i built the box it took me about two weeks on and off because i got a million other things to do i can't just dedicate one day just to building it plus it's 34 degrees outside and i don't have a shop to work inside which would be nice maybe in the future built the box and then the same day that i finished up the box literally almost the same day I put the uh, EcoFlow generator inside, was able to test it, film it, make video for you guys, let you guys know what's going on, and it's working perfectly. The only thing I need is an exhaust port because I'm tired of fucking doing first, second, and third attempts or whatever, but I'm amazed. It's working perfectly. A lot of people online said, that's gonna leak. There's not a sign of condensation on that generator. Inside, nothing. Fucking dry. It's so dry as a fucking bone, just like it is inside my house. And that's because I sealed the shit out of it with uh, spray foam. A lot of people just don't think I think about shit like this. Dude, I live off-grid. I'm my own power supply. I'm my own everything. I think about fucking everything. I'm more self-aware than you ever... You could be probably in your entire life. And it's a blessing and a curse. I'll tell you right now. Because I'm thinking about everything all the fucking time. I'm thinking about how I'm going to edit this video post it all at the same fucking time it's just a never ending story that's how i've been my entire life but uh, hey we got the generator working snow is a coming down we're gonna gulp this down and uh do a little real quick and uh and then we gotta chop some wood i necessarily chop some wood for to keep the wood stove going when i say chop some wood all i mean is kindling i didn't have enough time winter came fast cold the cold came fast real fast and um obviously this is the first kind of winter snow but the cold i'm talking like it was 70 degrees and then yesterday the next day it fucking hit 30 degrees real quick there was no fall summer winter fall just disappeared on us oh well all right let's get to it all right we got all the cleaning that we need done for today it's a uh, this firewood going see if we need to clean it out sometimes if you have a nice bed of coals in there you kind of keep it it helps start and we don't got too much so i just got to clear out the where the fluid is so that way it gets more oxygen and airflow but uh, ash could be good it helps it start so now we need to go outside and get some wood cut some wood and it's pretty warm in here already so let's uh do that now so that way we can have the wood sit here for a bit and uh, get warm before we start the fire. Do a thumbnail real quick. Maybe another thumbnail over here or some shit. Let's get a bigger one. Get a wider angle. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's go cut this wood real quick. Generator's rolling. All righty, doing this in some Crocs. I don't want to put you guys on the generator. <laughs> I was about to put you all in the generator. Let's go collect the wood real quick. Put the oak on the bottom. That's gonna be our wood that we use when we got nice. We just throw that in for the day. All right, got enough there. So let's go over here. 
to some wood that's gonna ignite real fast. That'll be good. This will be our fire starter. That'll be pretty good. I wish I could use this, but I can't. It's two by four wood, two by four wood. I'm trying to look for some good pieces, really. That should be good. Cool. All right, now we got our kindling. So this will last us all day right here. Let's cut our kindling up and then nice long pieces. I think I finally found a really good way to stack wood in the wood stove to be super efficient. All right, here's one piece, and there's two, three. And then uh, another reason why I put this vise on there so I can do these small uh, little pieces even thinner, kind of like that, because I don't have a hatchet. <laughs> For now, this is good. Oh, missed that one. That was a nice thin piece. That one's probably not gonna be able to get hit. Oh, I'd say we got enough pieces to start it. All right, cool. We got her done. You guys are all snowy. Let's uh, hop inside, let this dry for about an hour, and then start the fire. All right, we're gonna be putting some water in. We got some water. The water system's working good, collecting. It's not doing good putting it inside my house. So pretty much my half horsepower pump, after two years, burnt up. I wouldn't say burnt up, it just, it froze and stopped working. So now, instead of, because if I have to do that every two years because of the cold weather and the environments, we're going to be doing this. A lot more work, heavy, but it's bulletproof. I'll be collecting the water, going out there, filling these jugs up, coming in here, and just filling, filling the tank with a funnel. It's bulletproof. There's no way it's going to freeze. Fuck having to redo it all every single two years. It's a lot of money, a lot of work, and I'm not, I'm not into that. So this is how it's going to be done. And it works perfect. So we're getting some water now and it should be good. Because uh, pretty much the bottom half is what I had the most difficulty with. It always leaked, always froze over, shit like that. And that's because of the weather I live in. It's really cold. We're going to be going into town. I actually, it's going to be awesome. I get to put my Jeep in for auto. <laughs> I've never done that before. But this is my first winter with it. So we're going to start it, go warm it up, start it up. Oh yeah, and I uh, figured out why the belt's squeaking. It just needs tightened up. We just didn't have it tight enough. So, go start this up, warm it up for, I don't know, five minutes or so. And uh, let's get this thing cracking. Oh, I'm getting water on the camera. There we go, let's go. Let's do another thumbnail. I always like to uh, get as much as I can. Let's do a thumbnail over here with all the solar covered. I ain't covered that much. It's kind of covered. All right, we're good. Let's go inside for a little bit. Yo, check this out. This is my little wagon. I love this thing, it's called an Earthkin. I use it to haul around stuff, put some groceries in if I need to. That thing works amazing. Let's get inside where it's nice and toasty. Or oh, you got a bunch of rubber mats coming in for today. So I come in and out of this house with shoes on. A lot of people have problems with that. But if you worked as hard as I did and you went outside back and forth, back and forth, and you didn't have a mud room, you do the same damn thing. Invest in rubber mats. Kick your feet off, you're good to go. But I used to have cloth mats right here because sometimes I need to go back there to check on the fucking batteries and shit. And I ain't taking the fucking shoes off and then coming over there, it's just too much time. I'd rather spend the time cleaning it and then coming back out. Anyways, regardless, I used to have cloth. It looked really nice and shit. But, uh, I got another long mat right here and then a mat for Phoenix over there. The long mat is pretty much rubber. It's nice and cushiony. So we're gonna have that right there as well. Uh, fuck all that cloth shit. Cause uh, it, kinda, it just gets dirty as fuck anyway. So this is the shit I used to have. It looks nice, but it just gets too dirty. And I don't give a fuck about what things look like. I'm more of a person who cares about how it works. So if it works good, then it's good in my mind. All right, let's go get some uh, food for Phoenix. Put away these dishes real quick. Big old whopping to a bowl and a cup. This will be what we use for Phoenix. Like I said, see how I use my towel for my, my wash rack? Well, I have a rack coming right here today and I'll put my dishes on top and it'll drain on the sink instead of draining on the towel. And then uh, right here, sometimes I get black mold because this is all wood. There's no other way to run the dishes. So that's like your best bet right there. So that's all I can see. You hungry? Yep. Dad, I'm hungry. 
What kind of food do you want, Bobby? Got some beef. You're gonna get beef today. You're gonna get some beef today, Bobby. Want some beef? This is the most you'll ever hear of Phoenix talk, and that's him saying, I'm hungry. There you go. Right now he's fed. Let's go into town, pick up a few things, and then we can head back home. I'm gonna kind of organize the house, wires and stuff. I gotta get some ties and just make sure everything's nice and cohesive looking. And we're really just waiting on uh, our packages to come here. So go to the store real quick, pick us some few things, and then come back organize and hang out for the rest of the day. All right, Jeep's all warmed up. Jeep's all warmed up, ready to go. Put the bitch in four, four. No, we ain't there yet. So let's do that now, shit. All right, let's put her in four auto. Oh, we in four wheel drive now, motherfuckers. We in four wheel drive. We gripping the road now. Gripping the fuck, did you hear that? We grip at the road now. The road is ours. The road is ours now. It don't matter. The road is ours now, motherfuckers. Watch out. Gripping it like fucking gorilla glue. You go rock climbing, motherfucker. Feels like I'm on super glue right now. Imagine if I had that bitch in four low. Fucking be like I'm fucking nailed to the fucking ground. Nailed to the pavement. It'd be like hot glued right now i'm hot glued with the bitch in four low dude i'm fucking i am the road you know what i mean i am fucking snuff i can definitely tell a difference right now it's actually pretty nice the roads are really slick out so right there i would have i would have been sliding if i had that tesla still not in this gorilla gripper hell yeah it's working out awesome and it's really not too bad but the roads are slick black ice or whatever flushy out and shit you gotta pick up a few things and uh, come back home, get some stuff done. Today's kind of like a, you, you know, I mean, you guys do know I don't have a regular nine to five. I, I work from home, so I'm always at work. I'm, I'm always at home, I'm always at work. So, I like I wake up. I wake up when I feel like it. I've been doing that since, and I've been doing, I've been waking up since I feel like it for a long ass fucking time, but when you feel like it, is a difference when you own your own business. Because if I don't go out and put the work in, then nothing's gonna happen. And trust me, a lot of people can actually do that. They need to have a boss. They need to have something telling them, hey, you need to come to work or you're not getting money. And that's all right, we need those people. Because if everybody did everything I did, a lot of shit would get done. We need construction workers, we need farmers. We need everything that we need right now for a successful society. But my goal is just to inspire people to think alternatively and not traditionally, to not wind them up in debt and uh, live a more peaceful lifestyle, maybe something they've never even thought of, and uh, have a roof over the head. Everybody needs a roof over the head. It's hard to even have something like that right now. So that's why I do what I do, think outside the box. That way uh, everybody's happy, everybody's housed, but instead of me building the shit, because a lot of people have asked me, hey Jack, can you build me a tiny home? Nope, I don't want to build nobody homes. I don't want to build nothing like that. I would rather teach you how to do it and teach you how to do this lifestyle than giving it to you. You'll appreciate it more. You'll learn more in the process. And uh, it's kind of like you teach a man to fish, or uh, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, feed him for life. That's the scenario for me. I don't want to just give people shit. I need them to learn how to do it, just like I did, and uh, it's better off. You'll be more equipped, you'll be more independent, and overall, it'll work out for you even more. Even though it is difficult to get a tiny home or any type of alternative lifestyle going on right now, I still think you can do it. You just gotta put your mind to it, and save, 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 stop spending on stuff that you don't need, and uh, really double down. All, all it takes is a year, guys. That's hopefully what I'm gonna show you with this YouTube channel. I'm gonna dedicate an entire fucking year and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, the only time it stops working out is when I quit. 
So if it takes two, three, four years, oh fucking well. We ain't stopping until we fucking make this. We already made it on uh, TikTok. Obviously, I, that's my full-time income. But I want another stream of income, and I want it to be YouTube, because I really like filming my days for you guys, and you guys seem to like it as well. So let this be proof, and let this be a journey for us all. All right, and take too long. Let's uh, head on home now. The uh, fucking weather really just stopped. The snow stopped. So looks like it's gonna be not too bad. I'm actually gonna put it back in two wheel drive. The roads kind of cleared up, but it's only where I live where it's a little fucked up. So we might have to slam it back into four auto. We're kind of city now, so they got the shit clear for everybody. All right, let's head on home and let's get back to the tiny house. All right, we are back home, nice and cozy in the tiny house. It's about 34 degrees outside. Phoenix is nice and toasty as well. I was uh, messing up his itch right there. So we're gonna get on the computer for now and edit some clips and also probably try to, actually, let's not get on the computer first. I wanna actually uh, organize these wires. That's what I wanna do, so let's do that. All right, so pretty much we're going to organize these wires right here. This is what I want to get done. So, organize this mess. Got some uh, zip ties, and uh, we'll just put them together. I get too close to the fucking heater. God damn. Warm. So, just wire tuck. This is for wires right here, so we can just tuck these away, to be honest with you. And then we can unplug that. All right, so there you go. And that's where that is. And all we got to do is tuck that and this let's do it this way so put them over here and honestly i could probably just I might just tuck these wires in the back here so they're not zip tied in case we need access to them so as good as it gonna get to be honest i think that's it so i'm gonna do this that's it so tuck them probably do a wire right there all right zip tie just a zip tie them really put that together then we'll get some pliers after we're done doing all that stuff. That's good enough. Yep, nope. that's as good as it's gonna get, really. So, oh well. Too bad now. Just kind of need tucked. All right, let's do some wire tucking over here, maybe. Let's see what we can do here. We got some wires. I could just linger around because they're super long. I don't really want to wire tuck these because I have to continuously take that out but this there's nothing really i can do just kind of organize it a little bit more really bring out the thing right there and then that's all we can do with this kind of tucking shit i guess i think that'd be as best as it gets we can actually tie this to make it not as long so let's do that you fill up phoenix's water bowl all right so that can go right underneath there and honestly that's as good as it's gonna get. The real thing I wanted to do was uh, this, but there's nothing really we can do. Everything else is, is as good as it's gonna get. We did this up there, it's pretty nice. But these are just wires that I constantly need to get to sometimes. I don't want to uh, fuck with that. So I think that's good. Leave that here, let's go upstairs and get PS5 build up it's a lot better just from a glance really so let's turn this on go up here and battle this mess real quick so i put a uh, double-sided sticky tape right here and holy hell it kind of fell off so might have to do it vertical instead of horizontal because the, this big charger right here which is the projector fucked up on me uh, so i think i told you guys in a couple of vlogs ago videos ago that I uh, had a problem with PS5 so we're gonna have to turn it this way so that way the airflow is going that way and we can see it a little bit better that way anyways makes it look cleaner so let's just wrap that around for now let's do a quick little zip tie oh shit so we can do a zip tie right here so we'll zip tie this we'll zip tie all the individual shit then we're gonna put this vertical because 
seems like it's gonna hold a lot bit better because it was horizontal and uh, this shit was just pulling on it too much. So we're gonna put that horizontal and this is gonna go right there. Let me uh, give Phoenix some water because that fucking bowl is annoying the shit out of me right now. Back in action. So as we were doing this, let's organize this to where it's kind of just floating up here. There you go, the tie, just get all the excess and then we'll tuck it. So that works. And then we gotta plug in the PS5. So PS5's plugged in and we got this long ass fucking wire. So let's wire tuck this, hold this up as much as possible. All right, so tie this. So that's zip tied. And now, uh, what the fuck is this? What is this for? Net gear. I think this is just a random, random USB-C that I don't really need, but it won't hurt anything if I, oh, it's from my, let's do that. So we'll put that. We need the length of that, so we can't mess with that. But also can actually use that. We'll use that somewhere else. So we'll use this to plug in there. So now we got all these wires. So now we're gonna grab them all, grab the majority of them, and then there's a zip tie for all of them. And then somehow push, we're gonna cut all these zip ties out, but somehow, actually what I could do is, so we zip tied them all together. And what we could do is put this up there like this, staple, 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 staple. So let's do that. Pretty much run staples into the wood. That way uh, it goes up there. So let me grab a staple gun and some snips. Gun, snippers, let's do this. So let's snip them real quick. So we need this one snipped. Oh, that one's good. And what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck is that one cutting? Oh, and then there we go. And we can actually use this piece to then fold everything at top. So that's a uh, first staple, one side. What the fuck? Right, there's, well, what the fuck? That one uh, didn't go in all the way. Fuck, fucking staple, stupid ass, really. All right, well we got the staple literally in the fucking thing, but whatever. All right, let's wrap that around and then shove this up here. Fucking staple this part too. That ain't gonna work. I need a fucking hammer. Why is it not stapling like that? Fuck it, we'll just staple it into the fucking piece of wood. There you go. That'll hold her. This is as much wire tucking as I think it's gonna hold. Slide that in here too. So there it goes. Aim it up in there. A lot more cleaner than it was, I'll tell you. And it ain't moving. But gonna zip tie. Can we run a zip tie? We can't, can we? Motherfucker, that'd be awesome. Maybe we could. I don't want to take it off though. Fuck. Maybe we'll run, run like that. How about that? We'll run it like that. And then we'll uh, zip tie her to the base. And then do that. Like that. Where's the fucking snippers? And then snip it. There you go. We're all done. I'll snip them downstairs. These are wires that. We're gonna stay here forever. These are gonna stay stay on forever. So need to uh, build me a uh, little PS5 mount. Goes right there. For now, we can just sit her right there. Honestly, I might just keep that. Not too sure. And then uh, when I play with multiple multiple people, got my flash right there. TV, pretty much. PS5, PS5 controller. And then a headset but I actually use these for my uh, downstairs computer as well. So put these right here for now. But there, a little TLC. They look pretty good, I think. You guys seen it all? What do you guys think? Definitely tucked it up underneath as much as I could. A little wire extender, and there you go. So quick way to wire tuck shit. I think it looks all right. I mean, I don't know what else you could do, really. So looks pretty good. Let's go snip those wires downstairs. This is just an extra wire I don't really need. Hey, so are you on the air purifier? It's always on the air purifier, fucking with it. Let's go snip, snip those wires. And we are good, so wait. Let's uh, 
Throw away these junk fuckers. I actually uh, one time 3D printed me a zip tie. That's all it is, is 3D print. It's plastic anyways, you know what I mean? So. All right, sweet. All right, we're gonna start the fire real quick. Give that diesel heater a break. So let's do that now. We got 19 minutes, or 19% on the clock right now for the battery. Definitely need to order me a new battery. I know I keep saying that, but more times I say it, more times I'll remember and then we can get it cracking. All right, let's put a piece of uh, cardboard on the bottom first. So I really feel like this is like optimal way to start this fire. I've been doing this for three years and I just figured it out. So I want to get you guys a good angle of what I'm about to do. It's worked for me so good and I'm excited to show you. So usually I just make a little TP, but it falls over sometimes and you have to have the kindling just right. So what I found is if I get it long enough, what I do is I put one, I put a cardboard piece right here, one in the back. So one on the, on the wall of this, right? And then another one on the wall of this. Get a groove going on. And then another one, so you gotta put them pretty close together. And then another one like this. So it'll look like this when it's in the fire. It'll look just like this. And for some reason, the last time I did this, holy shit, did the fire just ro started. So we're gonna see if it does it again. Just gotta push them real close together, and there. You see how that looks? It looks like this. So let's do that, and then put some cardboard in between that, and let's light this. So we just stuffed it full of fucking cardboard. Let's uh, light it in all different angles. This, and let's get this motherfucker out, and then we'll light that. All right, and then we'll close it. I like to open up this window just a little bit to get some airflow going on. Let's see if this motherfucker just fucking goes. Shut the diesel heater off. And now we're on wood, wood fire. Let's see if this thing just gets the cracking. Hey man, I think this is the optimal way to uh, do this fire at least. I've never had it just start up, although I did put a lot of uh, cardboard in it, even though when I do that and it's just a teepee, for some reason it falls over and then they're not touching and shit. Building it like this is the best I've seen. It just starts so fast. Literally it's burning the wood right now. And it, there's no way for it to fall over because it's on the walls of the fucking stove. So it's like this. A lot of room, oxygen, breathing. It's like that. I'm starting my fires nowadays just like this. I've done it three times in a row. This is the third time. It started just like a charm. Firewood fan should kick on here shortly. And usually I have to stuff more. I have to put more cardboard in. So see if we can get an actual fire fire going on. Burning the wood, not just the cardboard. One try, let's see. It's starting to move. It's starting to move. There it is. Glass floating and the firewood burning. Going out just a little bit, but we'll see. It's definitely hot in there. Nope, it's going. So now we can shut the window. It really hot in there and it'll start burning even better. Just wanna get that initial bit of airflow inside there as much as possible. That's why, because the airflow is coming from here into these little flutes. Airflow in, exhaust out. So how do you think uh, that'd be the best way to start the fire, to be honest? So now you know. Cool. Well, we did that, so now Let's, uh, let's check on one of the batteries. Maybe we have to, might have to uh, switch the cord so we can charge the other battery. Yep, it's 79, so it's almost 80% right now. So what we're gonna do is instead of charging this, we're gonna take the cord in the back out. The battery, the generator's gonna die out. And then we're gonna put the one in the left one in. And then once that gets up to 80% good for almost one to two more days. So it's working. Perfect. And we can jump on the computer. Let's see that fire going on. Yeah, that's going. Sweet. And then uh, once that gets a little bit warmer and the wood starts uh, burning down just a little bit, we'll stick uh, 
like a medium sized login. And then once that medium sized login uh, gets all uh, hot and cold, stick something like this in. Once that burns down, then we'll, put, we'll start to put that, uh, that nice uh, oak wood in there. And then that'll burn all fucking night. It'll be good, so. All right, we're gonna jump on the computer real quick and then edit some clips for the day. And uh, still haven't got the packages. I don't know what the fuck's going on. It's probably the weather, but we should here shortly. Like I said, I'm getting my new cell phone today and then uh, some mats and then a, a sink rack. So we'll set that up a little bit later. All right, cool. Packages just came in. This is all I was looking for. And uh, pretty much it is a little rack mount for my dishes. Didn't think it would uh, come into a size like this, but I guess they packed it nice and tight for us. We'll see if this fits. Hopefully this fits. Let's put this together real quick. I'll show you guys what it looks like. A lot of fucking racks and stuff, but it'll look like a little rack mount like this. So see how fast we can put this thing together. A lot of shit. Looks like about, I don't know, 10 or so steps. So here's the hardware and the tools. I guess that only needs a couple Allen wrenches. So let's lay this out real quick. The tools that we need, little sign pocket here. Let's see. So first, first things first. The suction cups installation. So these little things right here, we're going to install. I'm guessing, I'm assuming they go on bottom. This is the bottom part maybe. So let's we'll screw these on right here. There's one. This is supposed to be adjustable too, so should be nice. I'm just hoping it fits over everything, that's all. You never know. I measured it and everything, but I'm still a little worried about it hitting that part of my house. Gotta put some wood in the fire. Can't have that stop going. So let's put this on there. There's two, so let's do that. Insert one of part nine into part 11 and fix, uh, fix them. Bless you. Screw help driver. So, looks like we need to take, how can I tell if it's part nine or part 10? They all look the same to me. They don't have anything on them. So, okay, part, part nine. Insert one part nine into part 11. So part nine has these two little fucking prongs on them. So these, these are part 10. These are part eight. And then here's part nine. Got four of these. All right, so we got to put part nine into part 11. Something like that. So I gotcha. And then it actually goes into that. Gotcha. All right, so we need a screw and a washer. So let's stick this on here. Put that inside here. Grab the Allen key, Allen wrench, whatever. Phoenix found his new box. All right, that's number one. All right, so this is number one. You need to do the same thing with this one. So now we need to, let's see, insert one part 10 into part 11. One part 10 is into part 11. And this is where it gets adjustable, starts to get adjustable. By the black short screws, these things right here. These are what needs to be inside here to adjust. So we're gonna put it on the shortest mount because I, there we go. All right, there's one and we'll put, all right, that goes on the outside and this goes here. All right, so flip it over. It says insert another part nine into part 10 by long screws. So put another part and do these hang down, yep. So put that in there, yep. But this time we're using the longer screws and I see them right here. So put that bolt in there, put that there, screw it in. All right, so that's one. Let's do this one. So screw washer, screw it in by finger. And we got this. Oh shit, we're dying guys. All right, well, we're gonna put this together and now, boom, look at that. Finished up and now it won't be dripping and laying on the countertop, getting it all moldy. It's gonna drip right into the sink. So I actually even did the dishes. So put the cups right there. You got the knives right there. You're supposed to put that on the sides and so I don't have room. There we go, just drips right into the sink. Look at that, pretty nifty. 
All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for today's day. Uh, the only thing I got going on really is getting on the computer, editing this video, editing out some clips, and that's it. Tomorrow, we're gonna be looking at the new phone that I got, and then also the DMR radio, I'll try to set that up as well. And I'm sure other things are gonna happen in between the day, like it always does. Because off-grid living is very unpredictable and you don't know really what you get until it happens. So me and Phoenix are going to hang out for the rest of the day, get some work done, edit this video for you guys, and hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. If it's anywhere near me, stay warm, stay cozy, and I will see you guys tomorrow.